you get the idea. Like, you know, you can start to stack these things up, and as one is heading down, the other one is heading up, and you start to get into this really lovely flow of the, the two kind of do work together but they also kind of counterpoint each other and you can see that very clearly here within the first 33 or so bars where the ensemble clearly heads up to a melodic peak up here but then the rest of it's gone all the way down so you get these like waves, they're almost like, you can look at them like waveforms almost, that kind of dip in and out of between each other. And again, create intervals and create tension and interest between each other. And then you add bass into that as well. So say for example, if we were to play this and the bass, which is again a recurring thing, you end up in the same position as where we were before. So reinforcing each other here. So the most interesting and emotional sections here are the sections where there's a deviation between the two instruments, right? There's the ensemble holding that root note, but the Oliver strings wandering up towards another octave. 